Hey guys! So today I just wanted to do a video about our closet. Kind of like tips that I found, how I organize it, the types of hangers that I use, etc. As some of you know, back in the haul and on errand day, I got some organizational things at Target. Some of it I've had before, some of it I haven't. This is what the closet looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. I will just walk through this and show you guys how we do it. We'll just start over here. This obviously is built in. We have a like shelf here so you can put a DVD player for the TV underneath it. All of Austin's hoodies go up here and all of his big thick socks go right here. He has his kind of like everyday stuff, belt, um, bandanas, and then hats. Down here, this section, the short section, is Austin's work clothes. So it's normally filled full of cleaning and then as they get dirty, they go in a cleaner's bag, which is what is in here right now. And it normally works out because as they get dirty, put them in the cleaner's bag, as it grows, less are hanging up. So it normally is able to tuck away in there just fine. All right, so then the next part of the closet is my part of the closet. On this hanger, which I will link all these or something similar down below, I hang all of my tank tops on them. I have two of these jean hangers and typically, on these I hang whatever pants are out of season so right now they're long jeans or just like pairs of jeans that I don't wear very often and then what I wear all the time or what's in season is rolled up in my drawer I have one drawer in the dresser next I have some dresses and how I hang them up is two hangers a piece. I hang the tops on one and then I, I fold, hang the rest of the dress over on a second hanger. So I have, what, three dresses there. Then I use this to hang up my bras and sports bras. I have transitioned to felt hangers and I get these at Target. I will link them down below. I absolutely love them. I used to have all of these plastic hangers, but whenever I started investing in some like nicer shirts for me, because I used to just wear t-shirts all the time, I noticed that the ones with the wider necks would slide off, especially during travel days. So I love these felt hangers for travel because this type of bar, which is a pain and I don't love it, but it's good for what it does, plus felt hangers, none of our clothes fall off, slide off the hangers, nothing. So that is super, super handy and I would really suggest it to you guys if you haven't tried them. And they also have, the hanging part is really thin. Do you see where these are a lot thicker? You can basically get two where you could only hang one of those other ones. So all these like thinner, nicer shirts, they, don't need that thick of a hanger so and I know that this is like packed full and I probably could could go through it I guess the only thing I will say is that what you see in this closet is literally everything that we own clothes wise we have some clothes at home but it's all that we wear so this is all four seasons everything that we would ever need or want we carry in the camper and we don't ever put anything underneath or anything for different seasons so this is it all right also as you can see we used to have three of these panels and we took them off and put up a curtain which makes it so much easier to get to all this stuff because it's tucked right by the bed so it's super tight right here okay so all my shirts then I have my like winter long sleeves a couple of my thinner 
like sweaters. Um, and then I have three jackets that are leather jacket, jean jacket, and like this like bomber jacket, I guess. I have two of these tin shelf shoe racks. This one I just got and I rolled up my thicker sweaters. As you can see, it doesn't have room for all 10. There's, there's two of them that are down here on the floor, but it's, I just let them hang there and it's fine. It's not a big deal. And then this is what I replaced and I only bought two bins to, and then I kept two of my old bins and actually I'm going to go buy two more bins. They only come in packs of two because I really feel like filling all of these with bins instead of only have a sock and underwear bin, which is what I had before, really helps support the whole unit and is going to keep it from ripping because last time it ripped right here, basically from weight, but also just from like traveling and bouncing around. But having these in there really gives it a lot more structure. So I'm going to get different shelves. I have uh, underwear, socks, pajamas, t-shirts, and then basically like yoga pants, capris, like stuff that I use to like lounge around the house. And this shelf, I will have shoes. I only have a couple pairs in here now, but I was trying out the sweater idea, so this was full. So basically up here is the missing socks <laughs> pile. I just put them there because it makes most sense so I can match them. Some of them I need to go through and probably throw away. And these will have shoes like my Toms and sandals and different things like that. Then the next part of our closet is Austin's nice clothes and casual clothes. This is kind of hilarious because he hardly ever wears them but we keep them because he owns them and sometimes we do get to do some traveling along with you know sometimes we have to go somewhere for a funeral somebody has a wedding somebody has a birthday party you know go out to dinner anniversary different things like that so we have all of his like nicer just um plain colored t-shirts his polo t-shirts like with a collar his long sleeve button up shirts, and then his nice jeans, and then his nice like hoodies and jackets, pullovers are back here. Up here at the top, we have a hat problem. Da, 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 da. This is Austin's hat traveling case, along with stuff to like clean the boot, clean our boots. We have where we hang up our uh, what do you call that thing? Vacuum. And then also back here, the vacuum normally sticks out. So it has these clothes pushed over. So I have 3M hooks back here that I will hang purses that I'm not using or different bags that I want to be able to get to, but I don't need them right now, but I don't want them underneath the bed because they're hard to get type thing. I hang back there. And then down here under Austin's clothes, we have our cowboy boots underneath my clothes is our fireproof box and obviously we have austin's dirty clothes down here all right guys that's gonna be it for the video today let me know if you like this organization showing you parts of the camper in more detail i can do some more videos like this in the future if you guys are interested i know that organizing getting stuff to fit stuff like that is definitely a task especially if you've never lived in an rv before so, all right guys i will link all that stuff down below thank you so much for watching give this video a like if you liked it hit the red subscribe button if you want to hang out with us more and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys